Hey there once again folks, welcome to another Terrain Simulator video. Today we're back on the Magnificent Bergen Line by Minerman146. Uh, the last video on the series we ended uh, where we're at right now in Radburn. Uh, in this series we're going to run out the rest of, I guess what you could call the main line itself. So we're going to be going from Radburn to Hoboken which is uh, basically right across the river from New York City, Manhattan, all that good stuff. But uh, we're starting right here in Radburn. We're going to take a ride, look around, um, see what there is to see, all that good stuff. We got some uh, some Comet cab cars and coaches here with an FP42 cat in the rear as power. So we are in push mode presently. So let's go ahead and take off. All right. All right, we are on the move. Now this, uh, I just would like to say, this is not going to end the series. Um, this is going to run out the series down the main line. Uh, you know, as a passenger train, if you will, if that's what you want to use on this route. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing here today. There is plenty of other stuff that uh, is going to need to be gone over. Um, I, I'm going to say at least three more videos. I'm going to try and combine a few things, um, but we are definitely not through. Look at that nice gas station right there. It's another one of these custom-built things, man. Look at this. This looks like a, uh, a Wawa or something. Those of you that don't know what those are, it's a, a massive gas station here in the States. I don't know what that is, actually, but that is custom built, for sure. It looks pretty good, too. You've got the lights placed up under there. That's cool. That is really cool. But we're uh, we're thick in it now, man. We're, um, we're in some, some civilized area, I guess you could say, instead of out in the boonies uh, any farther. And we're headed all the way east as far as you possibly can on this route. Uh, this right here on the left is a, another uh, consignee uh, freight on the line. This is, I believe, Glenrock Lumber right here. So it's a nice lumber yard. It's obviously got its own little spur here off the main. Plenty of stuff to be done back in here. Again, everything is just laid out so nicely. See a nice steeple there in the distance, some church. Big lumber yard, complete with the fence, you know, and the right kind of fence as well. You still got the old telegraph poles, old communication poles sitting here. They line the entirety of the route. And one thing I'd like to add, um, hold on, let's pause it right here. This is a pasta joint right here, right? They make pasta, this place right here. This is another one. Another consignee on the line. Got your spur here. This is, uh, I think their name is Zeriga. Zeriga? But yeah, pasta. They uh, they make pasta. That's pretty cool. I like pasta. Who doesn't like pasta? So it's, it's obviously got the warehouse, you know, the plant. These are some kind of coolers here, I'm assuming. It's like uh, maybe they got some nuclear fission going on in there. But this is obviously like the office right here, office bit, and then the uh, the warehouse itself, the uh, industry. That's cool. It's a lot of stuff. So I mean, if if, if you're into this for freight, uh, being down here does not mean there's not going to be much of that because there's there might actually be a bit more because there's still plenty of uh, you know sightings branch lines all kinds of stuff 
It's right here. It must be like a Taco Bell or something. And we got something right here. Not sure what that is, actually. Let's take a look at the map. Luckily, everything is named. Let's see, what is that? Enterprise Corrugated Container. Ah, huh, I didn't have that notated. But again, yep, there's another industry for you. Very nice. And uh, one thing I'd like to point out, if you're going to do quick drives for this, he's got quick drives set up, right? Um, you're definitely going to want to pay attention to what you're doing if you're going to do a, a quick drive passenger service because we will uh, get stopped. We will have some uh, some yellows and reds and all kinds of good stuff. So it's not going to be just a straight run. He, had, he has set uh, actual you know, other trains going up and down the line in the quick drive. So that's nice as well. Jeez, we got another one there. What is that? I don't know what that is. Why do I not know what these are? East Coast Coil. Ah. All right. So did we pass Broadway? There's another passenger station back here somewhere. We didn't pass that, did we? We did. Yes. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it was right by the uh, the pasta place. Yep, so there's another passenger station right there. That's that's Broadway Fairlawn. Alright, let's keep on rolling. This right here, I believe, is a cemetery in real life. That uh the big open area. Alright, we got a crossover right here. I believe. Or maybe not. Hold on. Just going to try and kind of go slow. I could just rip it down the track here, but like I said, there's going to be uh, conflicting signals and whatnot, so you got to watch what you're doing. Another little farm. That's cool. All right, so this right here, this is uh, Interstate 80 and the Garden State Parkway. The parkway being a toll road, um, so it's not a, a free road, if you will. you got to pay a toll. Um, but you call them parkways. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what we call them here in Florida. Turnpike. Yeah, Turnpike. So you got I-80, uh, Garden State Turnpike. Call it Turnpike. Freeway. What do you want to call it? Call it whatever you want. Um, and then right here, you'll see this huge interchange. This is the old, uh, I think, New York, Susquehanna, and Western interchange right here. And there's uh, there's still a couple of, uh, you know, industries and spurs and things like that you can do without question. In fact, let's take a look at that on the map here. Yeah, Belden Tri-State. Uh, let's see, Colberg Siding, LAK Warehousing, Acme International Enterprise. There's all kinds of sh Nikes you can uh, you can do here. It's a big yard too, so you can play around with that. Do some switching if you want. I had the chemicals right there. But yeah, we're gonna be going more over stuff like this later, hopefully. Um. But it's a nice looking area too. I love this tower right here. And just the view kind of looking back that way. And this is obviously, let's pause it again. I want to get the, the train getting away from us. This is obviously all, uh, I think, custom as well. Good looking building though. Not sure what that is either. But anyway, the yard's dotted with stuff, man. You got trucks, forklifts, you got all your switches, piles of gravel, all kinds of stuff. Like I said, we'll go over this interchange uh, a bit later, hopefully. Got stuff all stacked there. Just looks awesome, man. Look at all these lines running to and fro. Oh, snap. Hold up. Popo got somebody. First time I've seen this. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's all right. Let's unpause it. 
There we go. And it's legit flashing too. That's cool. That is cool. All right, where's our train? I'm going to get too sidetracked here. Our next uh, passenger station is Plowderville, which we're coming up on. Look at this nice kind of cockeyed level crossing here. Watch it run by here. No, oh, don't open the arms. Close them. We're going to get ran over. There we go. Let's get out of the way. Here's that building in the background there. Wait, did we pass this already? Oh, my God. We did. I'm in the wrong damn place, guys. There's just stuff everywhere, man. You can literally just stop and look around. I know I'm missing all kinds of stuff, but that's the beauty of this route is just getting in and finding stuff for yourself, you know. Little uh, secrets, hidden secrets, if you will. But the, uh, the industries just look amazing the customization that went into everything this little building here this has even got a ramp right here this is cool I noticed this uh, setting this video up this is obviously some sort of old factory right and they've got an old uh, chimney here but they put um, radio antenna or whatnot microwave whatever it is on it and that looks good man that looks legit but if you look at it he's obviously you know with the tools that you're given and in, in train sim he's he's made it look like that so it's obviously like the radio tower inside the old chimney but little details like that man that's that's really cool all right here's a crossing this is Plowderville right here up ahead I think let's see yeah let's run it and start breaking a little bit. This is an express straight to Hoboken, so we're not stopping, but we're slowing down to take a look. Big old burly two cat. Man, I love those things. F40s. God bless them. Watch the arms retract here in a moment. This one, for some reason, doesn't have the bells. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if you have to place like an actual sound dome or whatever it is on the uh, the asset but some of them do but then again in real life some don't you know it's uh it's different wherever you go but this is Plowderville right here another station has got the uh, safety fence in the middle there again slow down a bit too much get a couple of notches back on it yes pay no mind to the lack of marker lights for whatever reason I couldn't get the uh the marker lights work and I've got a couple of mods with the comic coaches and all this stuff um, so I don't know if that's got something to do with it so yeah there's no marker lights unfortunately all right let's see where we is all right so it looks kind of funky right because uh, we're on track one if I'm not mistaken we're coming up on the Dundee spur which is another cool little branch there there goes there's arms there's there goes there's arms that makes sense <laughs> there go those arms all right and there should be another place I think there's a, a another place called Gemini plastics up here on the left I believe it's after Plotterville Plotterville ah and here it is okay so that's Gemini plastics right there another siding stuff you can do but I just saw this for the first time setting this up today, and uh, I've been down this line a couple of dozen times easily, but this park right here, man, this park looks amazing. 
and it's uh you, you look on gps in this area google maps whatever you want uh it's it's here and it looks like this it's cool as hell man it's just big old park it's obviously some sort of reservoir or something i guess but the way it's laid out man and the fence and the ditches and culverts going underneath there the wall it's so clean too man look at that that is cool got a little chica sitting over here checking out the uh the view maybe she's trying to catch some catfish another ditch over here yeah that's cool it's like one of the very cool parts of this plowderville area right here very nice looking got some sports complexes over here i think there's like a, a high school or something right up here right by the road if i'm thinking i'm in the right area Let's see, what do we got next? We did Gemini Plastics. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of that the name of that park back there we just went by. It's called like Dash da, Danitz, Danertz, Danertz Lake County Park. Anyway, that's what that is. All right, let's let it roll. Oh, camera. I desperately need a another SSD with more space all right so we got the Dundee spur coming up on the right here now we are on track one which which is kind of funky when you're headed eastbound you may think uh, something's afoot being on the left hand side like you're in England or something but uh, it's it's legit and you'll see why the further we get Another nice level crossing there. Let's look straight down that road, man. So good. Another pretty good sized building there. Just look at this, man. The detail is just insane. All these parking lots, the way the buildings are laid out. All the little items that go along with them, like the pipes over here. We got some shipping containers back there. It is crazy detailed. It's like we got another little uh, old school, like, Ma and Paul type gas station over here or something, maybe. Look at that. No, but what that is, that's one of these old gas stations. I'm assuming it used to be a, a gas station, a fill station, that's been turned into like a mechanic shop or, you know, something like that. Who knows? Could be whatever. But that's cool, man. That's the first time I've seen that as well. That's what I'm that's what I'm constantly trying to stress about this route is literally every time you're gonna see something new. Um it's just a lot of stuff, man. Ah, that's got solar panels. Just notice that. Very nice look at this man love the way he's uh, laid out the level crossings they look so nice so clean let's look at that view right there that is nice got some peeps in the shop over here watching trains go by so again this is the Dundee Spur uh, over here if I'm not mistaken I think it is the Dundee Spur anyway it branches off to the right as you're heading east and again, it's detailed AF. Look at the track down in there. It's, it's kind of got that not heavily used look to it. And he's got that just right with the with the way the uh, the earth texture, however that works in the editor, comes up over the rails a bit. And street running, dude. I don't, uh, I don't know many people that are into trains that don't like street running. But uh, that's cool as hell, man. It goes over a little bridge down here as well. It's like some sort of orthodox Christian church, maybe. It's got that kind of look to it. But again, you know, with the Munich Augsburg assets added into this route, it's stuff like this that just make this route look so unique, honestly. And they fit, you know. There's plenty of stuff like that all over the U.S., especially up north and like the Midwest and whatnot. All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna refrain. I'm sorry. 
Well, we're going to have to wait because this is a cool area back here. You can, as far as I'm going to go. That's the Dundee Spur going off that way. All right. TBC to be continued. All right, let's keep going. That's going to be another video. We're mainline running it today. Just the absolute detail everywhere. Good night. Even this right here, man, got these uh, these concrete barriers laid out, you know, so you don't accidentally drive onto the uh, the railroad track. I guarantee you, those are there. Just little stuff like that. This is Garfield right here. Like yes, like the cartoon lazy orange cat. This is the Garfield Passenger Station. I love this building over here as well on the right. We're on an express, so we ain't stopping. And pause. Complete with the uh, NJT poster map. Looks good, dude. And it's it's by level. It's even got the stairs coming up off the road here. Details, man. The overpass. Got another. Looks like uh, Orthodox Church back there as well. Just a good looking area, man. Another level crossing. Let's see, what do we got next? I think it's uh, Westmont Passenger Station. Ah, this is well. I forget the name of this river, but thankfully, Miterman has added it on the HUD. <laughs> this is the Saddle River. This right here is another cool spot, man. Got the elevated line, like that old school, you know, downtown look. Elevated line. Then you got the road, and then right over the river there as well. That's awesome. Get out ahead of it here. Whoa, this place is huge. Now, I'm not sure what this is. I uh, I looked online on uh, Google Maps. I don't know what that is. I, I feel like it's got something to do with a... Either Amazon or a, a car company, rental car agency, something like that. I can't remember at this point in time, but it's massive. I mean, look at this. It's got these, uh, I guess they're like maybe vents or exhaust pipes sticking out the side here. This is just awesome though, man. Again, with the detail. Just nuts. Absolutely nuts. This place is massive. Holy crap. I haven't really ever looked at this place till now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. What I say, Amazon car rental. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know where I got that. And over here as well. Where is this at? I actually don't know. Got this pipe running down here. Dude, this looks good through here, man. Really good. I'll pause it so I can look at the map. This is R. Sullivan and Company. So this is their whole gosh darn spur right here. That's nice, man. Definitely going to have to check that out further. Place is huge. Oh, and even look at this, man. The uh, the line has been lowered down into the road, and he's got these like pavers on either side. That's cool, man. That is cool. 
Yeah, this area looks really good. I, I honestly... I was thinking this was the... Uh, the Pascac branch for a minute. Because you'll see when we get there, it's kind of got the same look. So I don't think I've seen this before either. This goes way back there as well. Hot dang. Hot dang. Got a tennis court. All right, here comes Westmont. Where is Westmont? So you can tell it's a lot flatter out here the uh, the closer we get to the coast compared to uh, you know back back up through New York over towards uh, PA Pennsylvania. Dude, I love the way these roads are laid out with these like uh, brick or stone pavers on the edge here with a little bit of right of way on each side because some people will just lay the road, right? Just that black top with a yellow line down it. But this, you know, this is just another notch that's kicked up here making these roads. Got a nice little court. What's that over there? That's the first time I've seen that again. Holy crap. Okay. This might take longer than I thought. Alright, where's our train in relation to our drone cam? So there's another, I th think, industry up here on the left. I think it's... uh. US Inc. And being that ink is in their name, I would be led to believe that they produce things with ink in them. Um, and that might be it right there. Let's take a look at the map. Is that US Inc.? I bet I'm wrong. Nope, that's US Inc. Okay. So again, more freight industry, and this place is cool as well. I'll pause it once we get up here with the train, but I want to go check out what that was uh, back there, actually. Because it's, it's one thing putting detailed scenery, you know, I don't know, like a thousand feet off the track side, but like way back there. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah. Oh, there's a railroad back here as well. What is this? Now this, this is one of those things where I'm not sure if it's still here, this railroad, because I, I think I tried looking this up uh, on Google Maps, and if it's there, it's it's well hidden or overgrown or something. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. Uh, hold on a second. That may take a while. <laughs> Look at this, man. There's a dude over here as well. So it can be ran. Absolutely. Another guy right here. Ah, this must be an old station. I honestly don't know what that is right there. Again, um... Since this is a main line, this definitely looks like an old area as well. These industries and warehouses back here. That looks great, though. Look at that, man. That does look really great. Even got the, uh, the little fire escape set up here. So this is where you can tell that he's, he's definitely taken multiple assets and made one asset, you know, or, or something that looks like one asset on the outside. Because you can see all the stuff that went into just making this one building right here, right? And then boop out, and there you go. Absolutely cool, man. I think, is this is this the old uh, Rutherford Junction, maybe? Oh, look at this here, man. Ripped up rails, got the ties laid out. Dude, I am going to have to come back here for sure. 
you know, other than now. Let's see what's back here. I know I said it was a mainline run, but uh, I am color me intrigued right now, so it's a ballpark. Ballpark. That obviously is to fill uh, train cars, I'm assuming. That thing there can be swiveled around. And this is, is this the Passaic River right here? Now obviously it's unfinished scenery out here and that's fine because it's not what this route is really about. But he still put this old swing bridge out here and how badass is that man. That's cool. You can see another one up the uh, river there. Wow. I genuinely did not know this was out here. Look at all these storage tanks. Looks like one of them's got a leak. Yeah, this place has got to be old. It's just so... It's this route, man. I, I know I sound like a brokering record, but it's uh, just detail, detail, detail. Go back up towards the main line. A uh, couple of switches. Another spur. Nice. This bridge right here, man. That's cool. See what's going on up here. Go back under. Wow. And see, this is just off the main back here, too. So it's, uh. That's nuts, man. Alright, here's US Inc. as well. This place. Look at this place, man. This is obviously not. You know, some regular asset going on here. This is a, a legit made thing with God knows how many additional assets. Got an old uh, buried spur right here, too. Love that, man. Just seeing two old rails sticking up out of the ground like that. What is that, like a, a five mile an hour limit on stuff like that? Yeah, this place, too, man. U.S. Inc. Look at this building. We'll go inside. We'll see the bones. The bone structure. Yeah, look at this, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That looks really good. Sitting down here on these spurs, looking about back towards the uh, main line. It's got a couple of cranes, looks like. I think those are cranes, anyway. All right, up here is uh, this is the old BJ Tower. So this is remnants of a bygone era this thing sitting right here and i it, it's starting to come to me now that was i believe this is rutherford junction part of the old erie railroad um and i think this tower we're looking at right here in real life was built in i want to say just before the turn of the century late 1800s like 1890s so yeah that controls the uh was it the interlocking over to the uh the rutherford line over there Makes total sense now. That's awesome. Definitely going to have to go back there. So that's... See, I don't know if those lines are actually back there now. They, they may have been ripped up a couple of decades ago. Um, I may be thinking about something totally different. But uh, anyway, that's cool. The old tower. Let's 
And then we got Rutherford Passenger Station coming up here. And now there's there's obviously an old... There used to be something here, right? This concrete that's laid down. I don't know if there were additional tracks here for storage. Uh, if it was some sort of building or something like that. Um, but that's nice as well. You can tell something used to be there and he represented that in the route. Alright, so this is where we may have to watch our says yes we're gonna have to start slowing down A little forklift over there doing its thing this area just looks great just cars everywhere it looks alive man it looks like stuff's going on you know and that's, I feel like that's big with train sim routes. This is Rutherford Junction here. Got a couple of boxes. And I love the curbing all out here as well. Just makes everything look so clean. Part of the platform, I believe. Yeah, that looks nice. So that's Rutherford Station. Another passenger station. So coming up, we've got a... Another branch line, which again today, like I said, we're sticking to the main line. Um, so we'll cover that in another video, but I'm greatly excited to go and check that out. Um, I believe we've got a red light up here. Maybe not. Hold up, where we is. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. See, if you're not, um, I might be too slow. That's it. See, I'm, I'm out here lollygagging, right? But if you're on, if you're on point, if you're Johnny on the spot with your stops and your, you know, your timetable and all that, you will run into stuff, uh, other trains, AI trains and stuff like that. But of course I'm lollygagging, looking around, all that. Another bridge here. Look at this wall too. That's cool. Obviously, some old lines that used to be there, I'm assuming. This is, okay, that's, I think this is the high school back here I was thinking about earlier. I said it was way back there. That's it right there, sports complex. Let's see. So, yeah, we're coming up to the uh, New York and New Jersey branch. I believe it's called the Pascac Valley Line. Please feel free to correct me in the comments. If I did not pronounce that right. Pascac. Pascac. Another uh, bridge here. But uh, this line uh, looks cool as, as well. And I'm eager to get out there and do some stuff. What's cool about this line is it's not just a... Like a, a freight dealio. You know what I mean? It's not just local freight stuff. It's uh, This is a passenger line. This is a New Jersey Transit Serves passenger line that goes up that way. And it's cool as hell. I've been up there a little bit just to kind of plan out some of these videos. But whenever I do that, i got to kind of try and stop myself so I can, you know, have it f like a fresh look, if you will. But it's it's damn nice out there. And it's... Uh, there's a lot to do, a lot to see, and it's just a cool looking area. So we do have a green here. What I was saying about doing passenger quick drives, if you so choose, um, and pay no mind to the scenery up there, it just hasn't loaded in yet. This will often be red. Um, right now, obviously it is not, because uh, a train will diverge onto the uh, Pascac line over here. So we're fine right now, because I've, I've run into this before where it's... Uh, you know, and it'll it'll catch you out. You'll smack right into another train, which isn't good. So we are getting into what I believe uh, Jerseyans, Jersey folk, New York folk call the Meadowlands out here. Um, let's get the brake off, get a couple of notches. It is flat. It is marshy. It is green ton of canals, ditches, water, rivers. And uh, 
Now, I, I don't know if this has been represented in, in his rendition of this, but the... I think it's called the MetLife Stadium, which uh, is home to the New York Jets and Giants football team. Uh, it's out here somewhere. It's, it's like right out here somewhere. Maybe that's supposed to be it. But see, I'm not sure because of the, the, the age in which this was built to represent, because I think that MetLife Stadium is not very old. Uh, again, someone please correct me if I'm wrong via comments. But it's out here somewhere. I mean, there's some stuff out here, but uh, it's it's kind of like this in real life. It's just a big kind of marshy area for the most part. And was that, is that I-95 right there? This might be I-95. Oh, and here we go. We got a scooter, dude. Just, you see this in Florida. I don't know about the rest of the the world or the US but scooter peeps you know on a friggin highway with like a 60 mile an hour limit they're just do to do to do I'm gonna go 10 miles an hour on a highway can't stand that man just like ride to the side or something if you gotta ride one that would that be super awesome but anyway yeah look at this out here this is nuts And we've got uh, we've got one of the coolest things about this area coming up here soon. But yeah, anyway, the MetLife Stadium is uh, somewhere out this way, I believe. You can start to see uh, New York City. What is that up there? Queens? Or is that the Bronx? Because I think Manhattan is like down that way, actually. Ah, camera. I don't I don't know my burrows that well. Okay, this might be I-95 right here. But anyway, those of you that, that may not know what that is, that's um that's a national interstate that runs essentially up the entire eastern seaboard of uh, the United States. From down here where I live all the way up uh, all the way up through here, through New York, New Jersey. Alright, we gotta slow down some. On the other side of this right here, let's pause it. Look at this, man. I don't know how this guy, maybe maybe he like borrowed his dad's truck and tried doing some mudding or something, you know. Got it stuck. Kid said, I don't know, maybe somebody stole it. So it's been reported stolen, but it's just out here in the mud. That's cool, little things like that. And then you've got an old tower up here over this bridge. This bridge is highly unique as well in real life and of course in this you know rendition of the route this is called the hx draw bridge and it basically goes into jersey city that's jersey city on the other side of the river right there uh, and that's where the croxton yard is uh, which is like one of the largest freight yards in this area so if you're going to do freight uh with the route if you if you choose to do free roams quick drives whatever you'll see croxton uh and if you click that you'll see you know stuff to and fro depending on what you want to do and all that so that's what's cool about these quick drives is it's they're laid out you've got to do a little bit of research via his manual on the uh the steam workshop page but once you read through that a couple of times you're golden. It it does it does seem a bit daunting at first. I will not deny that at all, because I, I had the same thing. I just I didn't know what to do, where to start, who's what, what's where, etc. But anyway, here we go. This old tower here. This is a nice little scene. You got the doggo in the back of the truck. Talk about a view, man. To sit here and watch trains too, boats. So this bridge right here. This is a unique bridge. I don't. I, for, I forget what they call it. It's like a knife bridge or something. But this thing's funky, man. And it's, it's again, obviously custom built. I don't, I don't know how he built it, but I, you know, at this point, I kind of don't want to know. I don't want to spoil the, the magic or the witchcraft, if you will. But this thing's cool as hell, man. It, it obviously drops, I guess, that counterweight right there and just rips up the whole part of the bridge so boats can pass through. 
And we got the old uh, house sitting over here with the guy that controls it. Looking at his watch. He's like, when's it going to be lunchtime, damn it? I'm hungry. I want my bologna sandwich. But that's neat, man. That is neat. This, uh, I don't know what river this is. I thought I did, but it's not coming to me. All right. Let's go. Another bridge. That's actually the line that we're headed to, guys. Uh, if you keep... Uh, thank you, computer, for doing that. If you keep straight on, that's that's Croxton Yard back there. And again, like I said, this is the main line. This is wrapping up the main line stuff right here. We'll get into that. Uh, that may be a, a video in its own right. If it's not, basically everything on the far eastern side will be. Got a couple of really cool curves. These embankments are built out here in this marshy land. This out here looks phenomenal. I've always loved the way this looks out here. Give it a couple of notches. That's cool, man. Got the other drawbridge out there. Ah! He's even put a buoy out here. And that sucker's bouncing, man. I, uh, first time I've seen this. I didn't know this was out here. That's neat. Neat. So this right here is essentially the main line. Uh, I'm probably getting the terminology all wrong. It's uh, it's you know, pretty pretty standard operation. Um, we're essentially hitting uh, the line that runs through Secaucus right now and up to. Uh, that's another fun one, by the way. Secaucus, Secaucus. At Secaucus Junction up there, that upper level that you see, you kind of see the stair, uh, stairwell off to the right side. That is the northeast corridor. Um, and again, if you do these quick drives, see, there you go. Here goes a train right now. We're kind of far, but uh, the, that's what's cool about these quick drives. They're set up to spawn in trains at the portals and whatnot, and they'll come and go and they don't give two shites about you, you know. You got you really got to watch the signal. I've I've been sitting here hitting the tab key like every ten seconds. Trust me. So you got to watch what you're doing. Um, but anyway, I think this this area is so mixed up. And I, like I said, I'm I'm a southern dude. I don't I don't know the northeast that well. Um, but I think is this part of the line. If you get one of the uh, the dovetail Jersey routes, because I was looking at Google Maps and it some some things kind of looked um, similar, uh, looked familiar, but that's a cool bridge in itself too. And look at that man; it's even got a little office up here. Obviously, not part of the bridge asset itself. Gorgeous, man. Bridges are cool. Especially old ones. But just marvel at the marsh for a minute. The way he laid out this marshy area. Ah, look at this. Okay, I have not noticed that before. Stop, train! Damn it, the train is taking us away. This old uh, embankment right here. That was a line. I have again just for the first time seeing this maybe that was an additional because you can kind of see where they cut through right you know like uh, maybe part of the uh, 
the rail line itself cut through the grass and the weeds there so where does that go and that yep that dude that's cool I have not seen that before I have to look up what that is but yeah this marshy area is beautiful he laid this out very nicely I uh oh and what's that oh man I don't even know what that is I lived uh I lived in Savannah for several years on a extremely marshy area and while I've never been up here IRL this looks like I would think it would look because uh you know low country and marsh has got a particular look to it and smell um and this looks good I've always loved this area out here all right moving on yeah, I don't know what that is out there. Let's take a look at the map. Get the train too damn far from us here. All right, there's Sea Caucus. I'm going to let it load in. Pause it real quick. Stop. There we go. All right, Sea Caucus Junction. Or Sea Caucus. Or Sea Caucus. Anyway, that runs through right and then you've got the upper level that is your northeast corridor that runs obviously northeast <laughs> anyway this is northeast corridor i'm sure a lot of you'll know uh immediately just just by that word those couple of words northeast corridor what that is but this building looks really nice And this, like, honestly, um, I don't know if that is a reused asset, that building. I'm, I'm seriously thinking about that right now because it, at one point he didn't have the uh, New Jersey coastline as, as part of a requirement for this route because it didn't exist yet. He started building this before the New Jersey coastline from Dovetail came out. So, yes, I think this station is in a couple of other routes, but, you know, those, those routes, those said routes aren't a requirement for this uh, workshop route. So, I'm thinking he built this, like, from scratch. But then again, I don't know, because there's signs that say Secaucus. Secaucus. Cacus. So I don't know. Maybe he added it after. I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to take a stab at that. Because he's he's come back, you know, ugh, I don't know, maybe thousands of times and just retouched on things. Got a GP40 leading some comments here. Very nice. So anyway, yes, we are getting closer to the city. This is the turnpike right here. Or a turnpike, a toll road. My stuff is uh, slowly loading in. Here's the uh, the other end of Croxton Yard right here. This place is absolutely massive. There's going to be a lot of stuff, assets, building-wise, load in through here. There we go. I just I have a crap computer and hard drive, so that's all that is. It's complete. I promise. See, that's the Northeast Corridor. Maybe that's... Is that what we saw back there? I think it is. I got all, like, more excited than I probably should have. No, it's that right there. So what the hell is that? Hold on a minute. Pause. Oh, look at this, man. This little ridge right here. That's cool. I've never really looked out here. There probably used to be something back there, I'm assuming, with that uh, smokestack there couple of ball parks ball fields what is this where does this go it's got a speed board for Pete's sake Jesus oh look at that man that rock formation these pylons are built into that's awesome I've genuinely never seen this that's this route. That's what this route does to you. 
That's what it do to ye. All right, let's let it keep going. Oh, camera work needs work. Sorry about that. All right. There's our chooch. So anyway, yeah, like I said, we'll look into this more. This is this is the end of Croxton Yard, and it's huge. It's massive. Big yard. And this over here, this is this is another one of those things that's cool. Like every area of this route has got cool things about it, right? Like like standout landmark things, if you will. Um, this is the PSE and G Hudson River Power Plant or Hudson Power Plant. Did I pause it? Yeah, I paused it. Okay, it's just sound with a train going bananas. There we go. This 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 is another one of those places, man. Handcrafted. This this right here alone probably took. I don't know, eight hours to build? Just, I honestly don't know. But that sounds like a lot. It's right here. It dumps out on the back of the river. Look at that, man. Now, I think this is where ships can dock uh, and, and transload material and whatnot. Plus, look at this, dude. This looks so cool, man. It's just super mega detailed, technical, industrial looking building. That is sick. Look at that, man. Wow. Now, I have seen this place, but I haven't really looked at it, looked at it. This place is friggin' massive. Got their big old coal pile right there. I'm assuming what that is. Dude. That's awesome. Getting closer to the city, and... Again, as much as I, you know, look into this stuff, watch videos, read all kinds of stuff, I I don't know what all these rails are through here, these lines. I, I'm assuming it's just part of an interchange or the, the back end of Croxton, but this line here, that's obviously the line that goes out to uh, the bit that goes under the Northeast Corridor right there, right? Around that uh, ridge. But there's just all kinds of stuff out here. Look at that. Obviously, used to be a bridge right here. No longer. See, this is the tail end of Croxton. You can run through right there. And then that. Where does that go? Honestly, do not know. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to comprehend and it's a lot to take in. But honestly, that's part of the fun with stuff like this. All right, unpause it. All right, we are getting close to the Hoboken, to the Hobe. Uh-oh, got another train going in. All right, got to gotta keep hitting that tab. All right, we're good for the next signal anyway. That's cool, man. Look at this. Signal gantry, signal towers. It looks so good, man. Like an old uh, interlocking tower right there. I don't know what that is. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Heesh. Alright, where we is... There we is. All right, let's keep checking that tab. We got a 15. All right, we'll hop in the cab. Go under the city. We'll hop out in Croxton. Not Croxton. What am I saying? Hoboken. Let's slow down a little bit here.
Yes. Look at this, man. Ah! Loud! Alright, we can go ahead and speed up, Nay. The other side of the tunnel is Hoboken. And then the river, and of course the ferry terminal and all that, if you want to ride across to uh, NYC. The anticipation. Double check these signals here. Make sure we're gravy. Yep. How's that one looking? It's about to get hairy. Alright, next one's good as well. Let's go ahead and hop back out. And pause. Looks like we got a couple of maintenance away trailers right there. A couple of low gondolers. And... Yeah, so that's where we just came from back yonder. You can see the uh, the power plant there. I don't know what this... I, I guess the city through here, is this called Hoboken as well? Or is this Jersey City? I think Jersey City is more over that way, right? So this is Hoboken right here. So you, you essentially go under part of Hoboken. Um, anyway, yep. So there's also this stuff down here. This is a uh, a local light rail, like a tram service that runs through Hoboken and a couple other areas which is pretty cool you can obviously see the uh, overhead line catenaries there that's cool just tons of little detail tons and tons goes way up there somewheres and then down that away and then wraps around all right it's it's probably gonna take a minute to load some of the scenery because there is scenery aplenty so I'm gonna go ahead and let it run All right, so this is Lackawanna Center. And I think nowadays, it's, it's like a shopping mall, isn't it, or something? But check this out. <laughs> that is awesome, man. That is awesome. Now, that's, that's legit what it looked like. And he... I don't know what he used, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how he did it, but he did it, and it's friggin' cool, man. That's so neat. Lackawanna. But yeah, maybe it used to be, like, headquarters or something like that. Um, but I think it's a shopping mall, sadly, now, with, a, I'm sure, a couple of little boutique stores and things like that. But, uh, yeah, so that's cool as hell. And then just the city through here, downtown Hoboken. This looks really nice. It's just, it's thick. I know I'm going to miss stuff. That's that's part of it. I, you can't help it. 
Another old tower here. Alright, we'll let it roll. Let it roll. Oh, and there it is. It's Manhattan. The Twin Towers. What a sight it was, man. It's a damn shame. Let's start slowing down a bit here. So this, this here is just mainly, uh, I believe, now this is still the light rail bit going through here, I think, and then it goes down that way. This right here is just some, some siding and storage for NJT, and uh, what's kind of cool is they've, they've got a bit of uh, repair facility right here, if you will. Let me double check that signal. But uh, their main... Um, storage and maintenance facility is back that way quite a ways but they do have a a wheel truing facility right up here is it um, is it this one this might be it but anyway that's that's kind of cool and obviously he has placed it here uh, but but the main uh, NJT maintenance facility is back that way and it's friggin huge the yard is probably about as big as this yard, if not larger. Place just looks awesome. Awesome sauce. Got the big apple right across the river. There's the uh, control tower. All right, we'll let it run. And look at all the trash he put down, man. Just making sure we're not gonna smash into a train. Okay. But yeah, all the trash he put down, like I would imagine, you know, it's, it's probably not the cleanest place. It's a massive city, right? But that's cool. Little details like that. All right, let's make sure we're good past this signal here. All right, we'll just run in from. Uh, well, actually, this is crazy. I know, right? We're we're in the friggin' train. In a train sim video. Um, yeah, we'll just run in first person here. Ah! Super loud. So they're waiting on us to clear. Cacophony of noise. A little close there, miss. Mind, mind back it up a little bit, a little bit. Oh, they're all ballsy. Look at them. This is a cool train station, though. Uh, modern and. Oh, she is right on the damn line. Back up. Modern and uh, old school. It looked amazing. All right, we're going to try and hop out and pause it real quick so it doesn't uh, boot us out of here. So that's it. We made it to Hoboken. It's a cool, absolutely cool station. got a very unique look to it and of course that massive tower back there the clock tower just an awesome station I 
Lackawanna. Lackawanna. The old uh, terminal, boat terminal, ferry terminal. Of course, could take ferries across into the city. Over yonder. There's a couple lines, I believe, that go that way and then that way. And let's see. I believe the Statue of Liberty is down there somewhere in real life. A little, little bit closer to the actual mouth of the river. But uh, he built the heck, the heck and heck out of this area, man. Empire State Building. There's an old park right here. It used to be a pier. And uh, I'm probably going to get it wrong. I think it might be Lackawanna Park. But then again, I think Lackawanna Park might be right there. But anyway, it's just an old park. Not an old park. It's a new park. It used to be an old pier. But it's pretty cool. Even the way he did this, man. That looks really good. Look at that building, though, man. Love the older stuff like that. Look at that. Epic. Epic. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'm sure I missed a ton of things, but that just... That goes with the territory on this route, you know, it's it's going to happen. You, you try to cover everything and find all the stuff, but uh, that's it. We made it to Hoboken. That is the series as far as the main line, like I mentioned. We're going to go back and check out uh, several branch lines, uh, interchanges, yards, all kinds of good stuff. But that is going to do it for today. One more look at that awesome building. But that's it. That's Mainline, Radburn to Hoboken, NJT service, whatever service you want it to be. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there. See you next time.